Fine Lady Yuna, I believe it's been fully two years. This calls for a celebration. Perhaps you'd like to hear a story. These past two years have been truly tumultuous. With sin defeated and the heavens' terrible deception exposed for all to see, it is safe to say Spira was in a state of upheaval. But it is precisely times such as these that often inspire the greatest good. For you see, out of the chaos arose a desire to forge Spira anew. And from this noble desire was born a search for truth, championed by people called the Seekers. The Seekers sought out and attempted to set right Spira's history, long concealed and warped by the temples. They looked for lessons in that history, lessons to lead Spira into a new age. <sighs> The Seekers scoured Spira for ancient spheres hidden in nooks and crannies over the ages. They studied the images recorded in those spheres, for they hoped to find within clues to the true nature of Spira's past. Over time, the search for spheres grew quite popular. Some even pursued it as a profession. They, of course, are the Sphere Hunters, the good, the bad, and the ugly. To be sure, the majority are interested only in the excitement and adventure of it all. But it is doubtful they comprehend the gravity of the search for truth. Very doubtful. Um, doubtful? Doubtful indeed. <laughs> Where was I? The founder of the Seekers was a man by the name of Tremor. Before the fall of Sin, Tremor had been a priest in the orders of the Yevon. With the Seekers, he had the perfect means of revitalizing Spira. Or so one would have thought. But then... Just one short year ago, Tremor founded yet another organization, the New Yevon Party. It was all quite sudden. He took the many spheres collected by the Seekers and hoarded them all to himself. Naturally, this angered those who had hoped to use the spheres as a key to unlock Spira's past. What awoke in Tremor's heart that drove him to do this, none can say, save Tremor himself. I should very much like to ask him. But sadly, he has vanished. New Yevon would not release its fears. Yet, surprisingly, a great number of people rallied to its cause. Their motto was, one thing at a time. It worked to great effect. It played on people's fears of the rapid changes sweeping over Spira. It gave them something to cling to. But there were others who still harbored ill will toward the name of Yevon. And the man who united them? It was none other than Nuge, the maven, that is, leader of the Youth League. Nuge was a member of the Crusaders. He is a powerful man, once renowned for his fearlessness in battle. His interest in history led him to devote himself to the Seeker's cause. With them, he worked to collect spheres, but in the end, New Yevon would share them with no one. Repulsed by what New Yevon had done, Nuj gathered like-minded people and formed the Youth League. Drawing its support, mainly from Spira's younger generation, the League soon matched New Yevon in size. As the organization grew, so did the responsibilities of its leader. I came here hoping to speak with Maven Nuge, but he is busy in meetings and I was turned away at the door. Hmm. Pity. Looking at all the young people gathered here to take part in the League's endeavors, I must say, I'm quite envious. 
So much energy, so much time. While I, on the other hand, have grown weary with the passing of many years. I travel spear, gathering knowledge, only to have it slip my mind a moment later. And just between you and me, I don't even remember how old I am. Oh, might I ask you one small favor? What is it? I'd like to shake your hand. If it's not too much trouble. To touch just once the hand that defeated sin and saved all spirit. Oh, thank you. Now this old scholar can go in peace. Don't say that. Your hand. Is something wrong? No, no, it is nothing. Lady Yuna, you have my thanks.
That's it. Every time I try something new, I screw it up. I just don't know what I want to do with my life. I don't know where I belong. I've spent my whole life drifting from one failure to the next. But I can't keep doing this forever. I know that there's a place for everyone in this world, even someone as sad and pathetic as me. Lady Yuna, I want to find my place. Please, allow me to ride on your airship. Oh, thank you so much! I'll find my true calling, you'll see.